I don't like a well done banana, but that's all I got. Mm. That was a little mushy. Redneck kids put duct tape on their blister spots. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, I don't have anything else. Just as good as moleskin. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, that's just as good as moleskin. Bye. Where y'all going? Muzzle Woo, about had a wreck. Sorry. We gonna ease up here and listen. Elizabeth and Nick and I were in here yesterday and there were two gobblers in this long narrow food plot that we're right here close to and they pulled a disappearing act. We don't know where they went, but there were multiple gobblers on this property yesterday morning, so whether they gobble or not, we ought to hear something. And kind of coming in the back door here, a little different than Nick and Reed did yesterday, so maybe we can get in here and get close to one. So about as good a morning as you're gonna get. We can go to the end of this food plot and there's a fire lane that goes right down to the bottom. That turkey sounds like he's on that fire lane. I mean, we literally had to have walked under where he's roosted on our way out last night. He may be back down the creek a little bit. Whoop, 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 whoop. Both of them at the same, yeah, time. At the same time. That one right there is not far around that corner. Yeah. I have to be real careful. Is he kind of going over that way? It sounds like he's kind of moved away. It seems like it, assuming that's the same one. Yeah. I just saw him drop down through the trees. I couldn't tell which way he went. We got a little bit of ridge to work with, and then once we crest it, we're wide open. Let's gain a little bit of ground. road goes right there and turns one over here I think we're gonna try to get right down here close to the bend I just don't feel comfortable moving around a lot past that that's gonna have to be in that food plot in it same one heck let's go fool with the one that's gobbling
bring your sheep down that fire lane and out in the woods. Pretty comfortable right there. He moved a little. They saw me scratch and they, did you see them until I said something? No. Boy, they. Did just what turkeys do. Instead of coming up the road or actually coming up in front of us, circled us and came through a tremendous briar thicket. Popped out at, what, 20 yards? I think we can move on from those three. <laughs> Flew over all these trees. He's gone. Yeah, he. Yeah. I mean, they took off. Yeah. Hindsight being perfect, maybe we should have got out in the woods oh, a little more. They were right down through there. I was looking at that mm -hmm. draw, thinking they may come right up that draw or mm -hmm. hit the road and come to us. But. Well, even if they'd come right there, I could shoot. But from about there. Up. 
Boy, they didn't give us a second, did they? No, that was. I saw. I saw just a. Speed. I saw just a flicker of something. I said, yeah. yeah. And I didn't said she saw them. I didn't think yeah. you saw them, so that's why I said something. I didn't know if she might. Well, come I saw them come through the briar right there. Cause I saw it, and then I saw it pop out, and I saw his head, and then he. Well, I could hear him drumming in there, though. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. I could hear him. I knew she was probably in a bind. Got a good ab workout sitting here. Yeah, in an awkward position. Mm -hmm. so, so. I don't know. Yeah, reading them or hearing them. I looked at this white oak and I was like, with that bunch of dirt, I said, ah, that'd be too tough for them to set up on. That would have been about perfect though. Oh well. well. It's about uh, a little after 10 and we're back at the cart. Uh, we pretty much flown the white flag for the morning. Heard a lot of birds this morning. Best day of the year so far. Clear, cool, no wind. We think we heard at least six different gobblers. And uh, we made another loop, heard one, you know, continued to gobble till probably what, a little after nine, mm -hmm. I would say. And, and then just shut it down so better than just roaming around the woods spooking turkeys we probably just get out of here and they'll they won't go far they'll be on the property be back in here tomorrow yeah i think everybody heard some birds i know the boys are with jake and nick i think they had an encounter with four different gobblers in a field and some hens and you got to get it make it happen right now you need to make it happen pretty quick in the morning it seems like or they're going to get with hens and be done Father, thank you for this morning. God, we do not take these beautiful mornings for granted, God, and we just say thank you, Jesus, for it. God, we pray you'll protect us this morning. Let us have a good time and a good hunt. We ask for your favor. God, and just take this opportunity to pray for Aaron and the team. Lord, as they're kicking off a whole new year, God, I just pray that you'll protect them in all this traveling and road running they do, God. Just uh, Watch over them, Lord God, and bless them, Lord God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. I guess I should have prayed for late, too. could have prayed but, for all X or anything. You know, I mean, any of that stuff. I mean, hey, man, I, I pray for you all the time. <laughs> so, what about it, Coop? Let's get in here up under these turkeys. I don't know what's going to happen, but whatever happens, we're going to be there to see it. Hey, old buddy, old pal, would you mind doing me a favor? What's that? Grabbing this tripod that's right here behind me. I will do it. Here we go. It's March the 12th. It's our second day down here in Mississippi. Where are you running off to? And there's my old buddy, Lake Pickle. He's been guilt tripping me for probably close to 10 years now to go turkey hunting with him. Cooper killed his first turkey with Keith last year. We're going after his second bird ever this morning. Stars are out. It's dead calm. Much different than yesterday morning. At least where we were at. Yesterday was kind of wet. And cloudy. Birds didn't gobble real well, but today they ought to burn it up. Jake went with this group yesterday, but I'm rolling with them this morning. And they've got a plan hatched to get on these turkeys. So we're going to get in there, hopefully for daylight, and see what we can do with them. Why don't we sit right here for a second? And why don't you drift back over here? Here, turkeys ought to be right in here. Or they could be right up here. We're here amongst them. That's the hope. They try to be amongst them, but not quite as amongst them as we were yesterday. Too much amongst them. I should probably call it down. I would say so. I'll be back here. Appreciate you. Go ahead and get your shot. 
He's on the ground. Where was that turkey? Right behind the tree. Yep, they're right on the outside of your food plot. Lake's right here behind us. That's Lake calling right there. Yeah, right there. We probably need to get turned around. I mean, there's, I think there's one or two of them right there together. Yeah. They're gobbling a bunch. We definitely don't need our bags to them. No. But I don't see where I want to get. We got two or three gobblers that are blowing up behind us. They're hammering. Got back here on the edge of this food plot. We're gonna try to move around them. Let us get up here to the road. You can join us at the road. Where's that one back? Where'd he just gobble? Same turkey? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see, he's up there. Come on, Cooper. Right there, okay. If you need to pivot, pivot. Yeah. 
this one. I mean, like, that's the one that started to take me away. Still 
some more fun. <laughs> That's what we've been waiting for. Well, we're wrapping up our morning here. It's about 8.30 and obviously got real close to killing a turkey. They gobbled their absolute brains out. It was night and day difference from the experience yesterday. Keith and Lake called them right up. They just swerved us hard to the left. I don't know if I got any video of them or not. I might have them on this camera. Keith was trying to move Cooper into position to shoot the strutter. And in doing so, we never saw the lead looker gobbler. And he was at 20 yards. <laughs> so when Cooper moved to shoot the strutter at 30 yards, nobody saw the, the lead gobbler and he busted us. And they just putted and eased off and they kept gobbling as they were easing off. So we didn't really affect much, I don't think. I think they could still come right back in here and kill these turkeys at some point. I mean, they were gobbling on their own up until about 30 minutes ago. We made another setup on them, but it didn't work out. Sometimes they swerve you, and that's just part of it. But Cooper had a good time, so all in all, a success. March the 12th, we finally got a good weather day here, and they were going this morning. Keith's talking about these pines. He said they were planted in 2010, around that time frame. They're a little bitty. You can see they've got some horizontal limbs up top, but these turkeys are roosting in these things. Just a pine thicket. That's what they were coming through too this morning. I mean, it's pretty thick in there, but you wouldn't think turkeys would be in that stuff, but they sure were today. I believe our goose may be cooked. The turkey is definitely not cooked. He ain't. He's still thriving back in there. Strutting around, spinning, yeah. buzzing, carrying on. He's gonna walk down in the woods and tell his friend. <laughs> I seen three dudes in a video camera. Well, they, they, I don't know what they were doing, but I didn't like them there. That one guy's trying to point that stick at me. Yeah, he is. Rosie, 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 Rosie,
crystal clear, turkeys gobbled better, but we're still running into some hinned up birds. It's so like half the groups, I think Thompson and Chris and Ted, they got on some birds right off the roost, but as soon as they flew down, they went quiet. And then you're all in your all situation, you could see them, but yeah. they were hinned up. Yeah. And they didn't Freedom, gobble the on the ground. Left, and all the other turkeys left the field and left one out there, and that's when he finally picked up and started coming our way, not until all the other turkeys left. Yeah, later. you had one subordinate gobbler out of that oh, whole yeah, group like that was limping his way towards us. He yeah. done he, he done got whipped. He was, his right foot was broke. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you was fixing to break his neck if you wouldn't have been moving, huh? I didn't move. I believe you. <laughs> he couldn't see me. He was looking that way, and I was that way. Yeah, I believe you. Half the group this morning encountered hinned up turkeys big time, and then the other half got on some hammering turkeys. Birds gobbling like crazy we did. We called in two long beards at 30 yards and just about killed them. Why didn't you move? <clears throat> just couldn't get a shot. They came from the wrong side, around the left side, and swerved us hard. And That would have been just like us because it was, there was so much brush in front of us. It was, these turkeys were gobbling, though, like Both mad. It seemed like when the turkeys broke, they broke, too. It they like. did. I mean, that's what it sounded like with Elizabeth on her hunt is those turkeys were gobbling and strutting, and when they decided to come, they came in really they fast. They came so. right through the thicket that they didn't like rabbit ticket line. Yeah, that's what these birds did this morning we called in. They came from like, they were roosted three, 400 yards away and started gobbling back to Lakes Calling and within an hour they had come all the way up there and were coming straight to us. Awesome. But interesting to see the change, what a difference a day makes anyway. I mean, it's the 12th of March and those turkeys that we called in this morning, they uh, they might've had a hen behind them, but they if they did, they weren't worried about her. They were coming straight to the call and gobbling their brains out. I mean, it's like, pow, 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 pow. Making I mean, each other shot gobble. Oh yeah, they were ready to do it. And we just about got them. But it's a good sign. Nothing flopping yet here in Mississippi, but we Maybe got way it. closer today than we have been. What's the weather like tomorrow? Same as today. So tomorrow, this afternoon and tomorrow, I put money on yeah. something yeah. flopping. We got to get it done because yeah, then yeah. it's going to get pretty nasty after yeah, that. Yeah, it's going to get nasty later in the week. It's supposed to rain and then turn off cold again. So we got to get it while the getting's good here. But we'll see what we do with them. Appreciate y'all watching this video. Hopefully, if any of you are out scouting or during the youth hunt, you're having success. All right, strike me out. Oh, Come on, Nick. Strike one. Let me call my... Strike two. This is calling my job. Strike three. Oh, my God. pitches, they called it. My, my he cousin. swung at every one of them. Oh, Nick, are you going to hit? Yeah. Oh! That sucks better. I'm about to take you to the back of the net. <laughs> oh! I'm looking to hit that strike. Oh, man. He... He's playing a little chin music on him. Oh. Oh. Run, that was like a run! Orb's got that wide stance. <coughs> kind of looks a little bit like Griffey. <laughs> Junior, that is. Oh, 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 that was filthy. That was the one. That was the one I wanted. Oh, I was late! He's <laughs> <laughs> out here getting schooled by a bunch of kids. Yeah. <laughs> that one fooled the heck out of me. I thought that was. Woo! I got one more strike on the rock.